Hello, students. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Anna. Hello, Heidi. Hello, Anna Yancy. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, and you, teacher? I am doing great. Very happy to be here. Very happy to start another class, another opportunity to learn. So I am very happy to be here. Okay. So tell me, my teacher. dear students. Yes, Heidi? Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Fine, teacher, fine. Excellent. Ana Yancy, were you going to tell me something? Uh, um, excuse me. <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. ¿Me iba a decir algo? No, teacher, solo ah. estaba hablando. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good evening, good evening. Welcome. So tell me, how was your day? What did you do? <laughs> What did you do today? Did you work? Did you work at I home? Work too late. You work today. Hello, Mr. Yes, Miguel. Teacher. You work. Go teacher. Okay. Work and late. Oh, you work. Late. Oh my God. Yeah. And where do you work? In, in my house. <laughs> oh, you work in your house. And can yes. I can I ask you what what do you do? What do you do? Um, it's a uh, finance. Oh, okay, finance. Oh my God, it's a lot of numbers. Uh -huh. Yes, it's in close of the month. I imagine, right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's like when you have to do a lot of work on numbers, on balances, closing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, a lot of work. Ana Yancy, what do you do? Where do you work? Um, how do you say llegando? Llegando. Mm -hmm. Llegando del trabajo. Ah, arriving from work. Arriving, arriving from work. And where do you work? I write them for work. No, no, no. Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabaja? Ah, en la playa del Tunco. Really? And what do you do? Tunco <laughs> Beach. Uh, for sell uh, clothes uh, in the beach at and craft. Hey. Wow, amazing. So the next time we go to the beach, we have to look for Anna Yancy. <laughs> hey, fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Well, I I really I really imagine working at the beach every day. What a beautiful work. My goodness. <laughs> that would be the perfect job for me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anna Yancy, for sharing. Heidi, where do you work? I work in the supervisor and the manufacturer. Oh, cool. Yes. Okay, so you are in the factory area. Yes. Okay, in a lot of... Area, area in the import export. Oh, okay, okay. So a lot of work too. Oh my goodness. Yes. Teacher. Blanquita, what do you do? Where do you work? I am work in call center. Oh, really? Do you work in a call center? Yes but no attending the clients. I work in security area. Oh, that's nice. In the security area? But yes. I mean, where, where information. the camp? Security information. Okay. Where security information. That's fantastic. Well, I imagine Blanquita there with the... <laughs> <laughs> so where are you going? <laughs> it's hey, correct. That's very good. Excellent. Well, Thank what you. a curious thing. I mean... To get to know people every single day, to get to know each other a little bit more. Uh, Ana Romero, what do you do? I'm an auditor. 
Oh, you're an auditor, huh? The one that everybody is afraid of. When you see the auditor coming, everybody shakes. <laughs> yeah. Good, very good. Excellent. Uh, Mr. Tito, where do you work? Hello. Hello. Where, Good evening. Where do you work? Mr. Tito, where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? Ah, uh, Utec. Oh, at Utec. Oh, really? And what do you do? Are you a teacher? Yes. Hey, what subject? Accounting. Accounting. Oh, the numbers and everything. Okay, very good. Ismael, where do you work? I'm sorry. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, yes, I, I work at a call center. Oh, you're uh, working at? Uh huh. Yes, I work in a call center, but in my case, yes, I work at uh, attending the customers, assisting the customers. Oh, really? In the English area or in uh, in Spanish? Uh, in the English area. Hey, um, cool. Yes, I work at the, the name of the company, the call center is The Office Gurus. Oh, yes, Maybe I know what it is. Hey, that's yes, that's nice. Fantastic. And you are here perfectioning your English. That's fantastic. Yes, I want to improve. The, the thing is that I know a little bit, but I know that I have uh, many things to improve. So that's why I'm here. Excellent. I am very glad. I mean, the idea of continuously improving, it's very, very good. Fantastic. Well, that's very nice. And you have a little kid, I imagine, right? Uh, yes, I have a one-year daughter, and she's a baby. I know, because of the yeah, music. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I saw you. You were asking because she is making some noise in the background. No, it's because of the, because of the song, because I have a, a, a song as well, but he's four years old, and I know all these songs. <laughs> yeah. Yes, but, but it's not, he's not there where you are right now, right? Because I don't, uh, I don't hear any... any no. Noise. He, he is here he is here but as i am a teacher he knows that he has to be quiet <laughs> yeah. oh i see yeah so yeah. I, I think i i need to i need to turn up the volume <laughs> <laughs> that's okay don't worry well thank you ismail for sharing thank you very much well my my dear students today we're going to continue working on the topic would you mind right yesterday we started with this one with the would you mind area. Uh, what were we referring to when we were mentioning would you mind? Do you remember? What were we referring to? When you say would you mind? And you, like, oh, could you, no? Uh -huh, it's very and, similar. Uh -huh. In Spanish it's like, Te importaría. Te importaría, right? Would you mind? Would you mind, right? That's the one that we're going to be working on today. Just remember the agreements of our class, right? Practice your English as much as possible. Ask for help whenever you need. Keep your cameras on. Attend all your sessions on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude. Uh, during the class, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group, right? We have to keep all these things in mind. Yesterday, we were working on the different phrases and we read them yesterday, right? Would you mind? And this is for you to make requests in a very polite way, right? When you use the models, would, you, can, right? You make the sentences in a very polite way. When you say, could you please, right? Can you turn the stereo off, please? Would you mind closing the door behind you? Would you please tell the guests to use the visitor's parking? And would you mind not putting your garbage? Something important about this is that when you use would you mind, you use the verbs in a specific form because you use the ing form. 
when you, for you to complement the sentence. Would you mind closing the windows? Would you mind not putting your garbage in front of the door? Right, you use the ing forms of the verbs. And in this case, I was showing you yesterday the different forms for you to keep it clear. We can use it with the simple form of the verb when you say can, could, and would, right? Can you turn, could you close, and would you please? In this case, you use the simple form of the verb, right? You have turn, close, and take. But if you use would you mind, it's going to be accompanied by a gerund. What is a gerund? The gerund is the ing form of the verb, right? Here I have the phrase, can you turn the stereo off, right? And you have the sentence. But if you transform the sentence with would you mind, it says, would you mind turning the stereo down, please? Right, in this case, you can add please at the end, or if you don't want, you don't add it, right? But would you mind? Would you mind turning the stereo down? Could you close the door, please? Right, with this one. Would you mind? ¿Cómo nos queda la oración? Would you mind? Closing the door, please. Would you mind closing the door, please? As you can see here, it says, could you close the door, please? Right here, you have the normal form of the verb. But if you use, would you mind? Closing, right? The ing form of the verb or the gerund, right? The, would, same, uh, yes? the, same, the same phrases is correct, but... The two phrases are correct. But okay. in this case, when you say, would you please take the garbage out? It's like, eh, podrías, por favor, sacar la basura? And it's like more than a like an Simple. like an order right it's kind of mandatory rude. it's mandatory but if i say would you mind te importaría i give you the option of telling me uh yes if, i if don't want to do the, it. if the answer is no it's, uh -huh. it's like would you mind well in that case if you say would you mind putting the garbage out it's like no that's okay because you say like te importaría no 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 hay problema that's ah, okay, okay. But if you say, would you please take the garbage out? No. In no. this case, if you say no. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> if you say no, it's like, ah, okay, ah, thank you. I am going to do it, right? But if you say, would yes. you mind? Would you mind not putting your garbage here? It's like, oh, okay, thank you. I, I am not going to do it. So uh, that's the difference. When you say, can you turn the stereo okay. off? It's like, ¿puedes apagar el radio? And in this one is, would you mind turning the stereo down? It's like, ¿te importaría apagar el radio? It's like, ah, sí, perdón, ahorita lo apago. Right? So in this case, you can excuse yourself. But in this one, it's like, ¿puedes apagar ese radio, por favor? <laughs> this is like when your, yeah, mother, when your mother tells you and when you say this to someone different. <laughs> right? When you have visitors in your house and when your mother is with you. <laughs> yes, Ana Yancy? Tell me. Uh, what what different and uh, can you no could you con will you okay there is no difference because the three of them are models right los tres son models and you use the three for you to make a request the difference is that you can use can you or could you or would you and the meaning is going to be the same. You are going to be requesting something, right? La petición se puede hacer con cualquiera de las tres formas. Y no habría mayor diferencia en, en, en el significado. Because you can say, can you turn the stereo off? It's like, ¿puedes apagar el radio? Could you turn the stereo off? ¿Podrías apagar el radio? And would you turn the stereo off? It's like, ¿puedes apagar el radio? It's the same meaning, right? It's the same meaning in the three cases. And in the three cases here, would you mind? Te importaría. Aquí no cambia ningún. So, but these ones are options that you can use. Can, could, and would. And in this one, would you mind? It's for the three forms. And the mm -hmm. important thing here is that you use the ing form at the end of the sentence. Okay. So let's have a little practice on this one. 
As you can see here, we have the different forms of the phrases, right? And here I have some examples. Here, the first example that I have is, can you close the door, please? Could you answer the phone, please? Will you please hang up your towel, right? Do you remember that yesterday we were doing a lot of sentences, right? Can you create one request, one request following the examples that I have here? Imagine another example and let's create another one. What is, what will be the opposite of this phrase? Can you close the door, please? What will be the opposite request? Can you open exactly. the door, please? Can you open the door, please? Or can you open the window? Exactly. Can you open the door, please? Can you open the window? You can say, could you open the window? Could you open the window, right? Uh, could you answer the phone, please? What will be the opposite of this one? What will be the opposite of could you answer the phone? Uh huh. Everybody, anybody can help. What will be the opposite phrase for this one? Um, it could be, uh, could you hang up the phone, please? Could you hang up the phone? Very good. Could you hang up the phone, please? Right. And you have it there. Would you please hang up the towel? That's another example. Can you give me another request? Any request that you remember, right? Right. Yesterday we were creating many examples of these ones. Can you come up with another one? Uh -huh. Can you turn on the computer? Can you turn on the computer? Okay, can you turn on the computer? That's very good. Another one. Can you pick up your things or over the floor? Can you pick up your things? Over the floor? From, in this case, you say like from the floor. Yes. Can you pick up your things? But in this case, if you say, can you pick up your things? It's because they are on the floor. So in this case, we don't need this one. If you say, okay. can you pick up your things? Because you know that they are all over the house, right? Can you pick up your okay. things? Very good example. Another one. Mr. Mauricio Trujillo. I, I can see in your face that you have an example. Come up with one. Hi, good Think evening, about everybody. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, can you can you turn off the lights? Can you turn on the lights? Very good. Can you turn on the lights? Can you turn on the lights? Very nice. Can you give me another example? Let me see. Uh, could, uh -huh. you, could you help me wash, please? Could you, um, we can say, help, wash, okay. Help me. We can say, could you wash up? Could you? The dishes. No, say. could you? Could you help me wash, please? Okay, then in this case, uh, could you help me wash? That would be good. But if we are using the two part verbs, we can say, could you wash up the dishes, right? It's like, I am going to do it for sure. Could you help me wash? It's another good example of a request, right? Very good job, an agency, very nice. Okay. Any other one? Let's see. Let's go with an easy one. These were the kind of difficult examples. Let's go with the easy ones. Would you mind closing the door, please? 
Would you mind answering the phone, please? Would you mind hanging up the towel? In this one, we follow the same example. It's like, would you mind? And then you ask for whatever you need. What request will you use in this one? Would you mind? Open. The opening. opening. Sorry. Opening. Opening. opening the door, please. Okay, very good. Would you mind opening the door, please? It's very good. Or window. Or the window. <laughs> if we have to transform this one. Yes. Then let's make it okay. easy. Can we transform these ones into would you mind? Ismael, help me with the first one. Um, the first one. Okay, would you mind closing the door, please? Excellent. Let's see. Let's transform these ones. We have them there. Uh, Mr. Julio, transform the second one. Would okay, you mind? Would you mind opening the door, please? Very good job. Heidi, transform number three. Could you, could you mind open the window? Would you mind opening? Remember that opening we need to use the... Very good. Very good. Miguel, transform the next one. Would you mind? Would you mind? Answering the phone. Answering, okay, the ING form. Very good. Answering the phone. Michelle, transform the next one. To a would you mind form. Mm, uh, would you mind hanging up the phone, please? Very good job. Diomesis, can you transform this one into a would you mind? Uh, would you mind close in the guy, please? Close in the guy. Okay, this one, this one, this one. Would you mind? And here I have two, please. Okay, there you go. Please. Okay. You... Would you mind? Bye. Huh? What, game, is the, what is the ING form of this one? ¿Cuál sería la forma de ING de hang? Um, hanging. Hanging. And it says, okay, leamos esta, leamos esta, diomesis. Can you read it? ¿La podemos what leer? Uh, what you my hungry or oh, your two will okay would you mind would you mind hanging you up mind? your towel up towel your towel. towel your towel very good thank you thank you Thomas Ana okay. Romero transform this one into a would you mind would you mind Turning on the computer. Very good job. Very good job. Let's see. Regina, transform this one into a would you mind? Uh -huh. Miss Regina, let's transform this one into a would you mind? Okay, Maritza, can you help me to transform this one into a would you mind? Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Copy, copy. What is the first part that you use? Would you... Mine, de ahí el verbo en gerundio. Picking. Picking, very good. And then the complement, right? Picking up your things. Okay, Thanks. very good job. Mauricio, transform this one. 
Well, uh, will, will you mind turning on the lights? Very good job. And Julio, finish with the last one. Will you mind washing up the dishes? Very good job. So the idea of using would you mind is not very different from the ones that we have. The only thing that when you use would you mind, you have to remember to transform the ing form of the verb, right? It is the right. same requests that you can have with can, could, and would, but in a very polite way they, with the use of would you mind, okay? Here I have some other examples. And in this one, I have an example with can, right? Take your feet off my chair. Baje su pie de mi silla. Can you, uh, and you have to use can. Can you take your feet off my chair, please? Okay. And the next one says, take this form to the office. Would you mind? Please turn the CD player down. Good. Don't leave the door opening. Uh, the door open. Sorry. Would you mind? Let me share your book. Would. Pass me that book please okay so what we are going to do right now is that i am going to send you this image uh, to your chat and we are going to work together i am going to send you this one on the chat right the image that i have right now and we are going to work together we are going to work in mini groups and what you have to do is that you have to transform the sentences into the phrase that is in parentheses. Okay, I am going to send you right now to work in mini groups and I need you to write on your notebook the answers. When we come back, you are going to share your answers with the group. Okay, so please, right now I am going to, I sent you the image on the chat already. Okay, I sent you the image on the chat and we are going to go to mini groups. When we come back, I need you please to share the answers that you got from this exercise, okay? Let's go to the groups. Le va a salir una invitación ahí para que se unan a los grupos. And we are going to work there like for five minutes and then we're going to come back, okay? Let's go to the groups right now. <laughs> I need you to okay. write the sentences in your notebook. Go ahead. Join the groups, please. Go ahead. Teacher, lo siento por dar a aceptar, eh, lo borré. Okay, I'm going to send you to another group. Don't worry. Okay. I am going to send you back. Okay, there you go. Thank you. Okay, okay, let's go to the groups. There you go. I need you to include yourselves in the groups. Very good. Only Heidi, you haven't entered to the group. Okay, Heidi, is there a problem for you to enter to the groups? Okay, let me... Okay. Heidi, there's the invitation for you to join the group. Eh, no le ha salido la invitación, Heidi. Ah, okay, okay. There you go. 
Okay, so we're going to go and see how students are doing in the different groups. I am going to join. I am going to join the different groups. Let's see. Yes. Teacher, uh, yes. question for the number three. Uh -huh. Is please turn the CD player down. Uh -huh. uh, use the cool and could you could you please start exactly but in the uh, don't have could the you. you in the number three oh uh, okay it says please turn the cd player down how are you going to create the sentence could you please could you please, could you please right could you please could you please turn the cd player down yeah that's the form Okay, thank you. Yes. Four. Would you mind? Would you mind? Don't leave the door open. Uh, would you mind? In the case of don't leave, remember that with would you mind, you use a ing. Leave. Uh -huh. mm. And you say don't or not? Don't leave it. Not. In this case, you use not. Would you mind not leaving? Not. Si ya lo transformamos a would you mind, no usamos don't, usamos don't. not. Not. Uh, porque se lo not. sustituye, sí. Uh -huh. Exactly like that. Uh -huh. lo Would you mind not leaving? Not leaving, uh -huh. exactly like that. Uh, five. Five. Excellent. I'm going to see the other groups. Would you? I Would don't you know. Mind? Would you? Ah, okay. Oh. The fifth. The sixth. Ah, would you? Would you let me? Sherry. Would you? Would you? No, let me? Will you let me? Sherry. No. Sharing your Sharing book. Sharing your uh -huh. book. Mm -hmm. It makes sense to me. It's a, uh -huh. Yes. Yes. One and second. The, yeah, yes, yes, yes. The you, next one, you, I don't know. The pass the duck book. Um, can you pass? Uh, I don't know. Can you pass me? Pass me? You say, yeah, good. Can you pass uh, yes. me? Yes. Can you pass, pass me, me pass, that book? Pass me. Or pa pass me? Yeah, that book. Pass me the book. Please. Please. Uh -huh. Okay. How did you do okay. number four? Okay. Four. Uh, uh, would, you would you mind? Mind. Don't leave. Don't leave. Leaving. 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 The door open. Okay. In the case of would you mind, when you have a negative with don't, we use not. Don't. No, uh, no, no. You say you not, mind not leaving. Exactly. Not leaving. Okay. I am going to go would to see you the next group. Mind. I will come back later. Okay. <laughs> don't de regreso. Terminemos. <laughs> no, I am here. I am here checking door. what you are open. doing. Okay. Teach, teach. We, ha we have a problem with uh, with the four uh -huh. uh, because it's negative. Okay, yes. Uh, in the negative form of would you mind, you use not. Not. Uh -huh. And the ing form. So it says, would you uh -huh. mind? Would you not. mind not leaving the door open? Excellent. That's, That's the way. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you. Excellent. That's the way you use it. Think we are okay. Done. Not not leave Don't the door leave open. The door open. Okay. That's cool. Okay. Uh, number five. Number five. Uh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Let me share your book. Would you? Would you let me share your book? Uh, 
That's Would correct? you lend me exactly like that? Very good. Okay, I'm going to go and see the other group. See you. Okay, teacher. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Leaving. Teacher. Yes. Uh, is my. <laughs> Hola. Yes, yes. tell me. Yes, tell me. Uh, teacher, uh, we were, um, I am not sure, being honest, and I was telling them that on the number four, uh -huh. it says don't leave the, the door open. Uh -huh. And But in this case, uh, being honest, I am not sure if it is going to be, would you mind don't leaving the, the door open or would you mind not leaving? Not leaving. I am going open. to, I am going to, not. to, yes, I am going mm -hmm. to explain that one as well because with the negative thing, would you mind it's not leaving? Not leaving. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh -huh. when but you, I was telling that I, <laughs> that you were not sure. <laughs> yes, when you transform, yes. when you transform the negatives with would you mind, you don't use don't, you use not mm -hmm. that's what i knew but i i was hesitating no but that's cool <laughs> it's cool and the best thing is that you are you are wondering and you are learning together i mean that's uh, the good thing did you finish because we are about to go back uh give us one more minute okay go Please. ahead i am going to go to <laughs> the last room i'm going to go to room number one go ahead did you finish Yes, teacher. Okay, so uh, we're going to go back in a second. And what are the sentences that you got? Can you read the sentences for me? Um, okay. Uh, the number two, would uh -huh. you mind taking this part to the coffee, to the office? Okay, very good. The next one. Um, the number three. Could you, uh -huh. could you please turn the CD player down? Very good. Number four. Number four. Would you mind not leaving? The door open. Very good. The next one. Number five. Will you will you let me share your book? Very good. And the last one. I do not want to leer. No lo puedo leer. Regina. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We are going to go back, and you are going to help me uh, giving the answers. Okay. Let's go back to the to the main session and you're going to help me with everybody. Go ahead. Teacher. Y ese es el secreto de la felicidad. <laughs> what is the secret? <laughs> it's because I was I was mute. I couldn't hear. <laughs> yeah. No. The secret for the happiness is mute and other one. <laughs> I I, I yeah. thought I we thought having a conversation. I'm sorry. I, I thought you were saying the, the happiness secret. Yeah, I was, I, I was. <laughs> siempre, te, eh, eh, siempre me sucede que a veces eh, regreso de, las, de, los, de los breakout rooms y se me olvida que todas las, eh, las veces regresamos con los micrófonos apagados. Y entonces yo estoy bien emocionada diciéndoles, welcome back, students, que no sé qué, que no sé cuánto. Y siempre tengo el micrófono apagado y les digo, bueno, y ese es el secreto de la felicidad. It's like, I didn't listen, teacher, go on. It's like, sorry. You didn't listen. Okay, let's check on the answers that we got. Okay, I am going to give you the original sentence and you are going to give me the transform form. Okay, uh, take this form to the office. What is the transformed version? Take this form to the office. Would you mind taking this form to the office? Very good job, excellent. Please turn the CD player down. Would you please uh -huh. 
turn the CD player down. Excellent job. Then next one, don't leave the door open. Would you mind not uh, leaving the door open? Fantastic. Let me share your book. Would you let me uh -huh. Would you let me sharing your book? Uh, would you lend me share. sharing? Uh -huh. Share. Because with would you mind? Uh -huh. With would you mind is when you use the ing. Yes. Share your book. Share your book. Very good. Yes, and the yes, last yes, one. Sorry. Pass me that book, please. Can you pass me uh, that book, please? Excellent job. Fantastic students. Very good job. Something that we learned. ¿Qué fue lo que aprendimos con el uso de los negativos y would you mind? ¿Quién me ayuda? Uh -huh. Please eliminate do. Ajá, uh -huh. we eliminate do and we leave. ¿Qué es lo que le dejamos? Only not. Only not. Very good. We say... Uh, not we don't use don't and here we have one example and it says the last one would you mind not putting your garbage in front of the door right would you mind not putting okay this is one good example of that one very good job so in this one i have some exercises and i need you to help me share the best answer for each of them and here I have some examples. And it says, the first one says, could you lend me some money? You know what's the meaning of lend me? Yeah. Prestar. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. Prestar. Here in El Salvador, lend doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Share me. <laughs> yeah. Here in El Salvador, we better say, could you give me? Because people say like, I am going to pay tomorrow it never happens and mostly if you give money to your mother <laughs> it never happens <laughs> right it's like mama se acuerda del dinero que le presté yo te di la vida y así me pagas cobrándome <laughs> and it's like okay <laughs> bye bye money <laughs> could you lend me some money oh sure I don't have this type of friends, but maybe it's beautiful, right? Oh, sure. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, thanks. <laughs> Would you mind helping me? And we have three options. Sorry, I can't right now. No, thanks. And I forget. Sorry, sorry I can't. Sorry, sorry right I now. can't right now. Okay, sorry, I can't right now. I am in class. By the way, you are sitting in my seat. I will close it. No, right now. Excuse me, I didn't realize. Excuse me, I didn't realize. Okay, excuse me, I didn't realize. What is the meaning of realize? Como no me había dado cuenta. Exactly. No me había dado cuenta. No me había dado cuenta. Would you like to come in? Would you like to come in? Uh, that's no excuse. Sorry, I forgot. All right, thanks. All right, thanks. Very good job, right? Thank you, I was here on the street. <laughs> the next one. Would you mind not taking all the coffee? Sorry, there was an, another E missing here. Would you mind not taking all the coffee? Okay, thanks. I'm sorry, I will make some more. Or excuse me, I will drink it all. Excuse me, I will drink a lot. No. <laughs> would you mind not taking all the coffee? ¿Te importaría no, okay. no llevarte todo el café? Excuse me. <laughs> I need what would be coffee. the option? <laughs> I think everybody does. What would be the correct option for this one? Okay, thanks. Ah, sí, gracias. Or... I'm sorry, I will make I some more. Sorry. I'm sorry. I will make I'm some sorry. more. Lo siento. Pero ya voy a hacer más. Okay. Yes. Ya voy a hacer Excuse más. me. Can you turn the radio up? Can you turn the radio up? 
No problem. You could too. I will make sure. No problem. No problem, right? No problem. That's the way we answer. Okay, let me see. Mauricio, I am going to ask you the first question. Mauricio, could you lend me some money? Oh, sure. Hey, that's a very good answer. Let's see. Eh, Blanquita, I don't see your face. Oh, I can see you now. Would you mind helping me? Sorry, I can't right now. Sorry. For Julio. this moment. Tomorrow, okay. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. No, tomorrow we have classes too. On Friday. Ah, okay. okay. <laughs> Let's see. Julio, by the way, you are sitting in my seat. Excuse me. I didn't realize. Okay. Make sure that it doesn't happen again. <laughs> the oh, next sorry. one. The <laughs> next one. Heidi, would you like to come in? Oh, right, tent. Very good job. Ana Yancy, would you mind not taking all the coffee? The microphone, sweetie. Yes, teacher. Would you mind not taking all the coffee? Mm, yes, I, I, I talk in coffee. No, it says, here you have the answer. Oh, I am sorry. I am sorry on my song. More. More. Okay, Ismael, can you turn the radio up? <laughs> okay, no problem. Very good job. So that's the idea. Excellent. Here I have the next part of the example. And here we have a matching exercise. We are going to make couples with the different phrases that we have here. And I have the first one, pick up some milk. Okay, pick up some milk. That is the first couple of friends that we're going to do. What would you use for you to complement the word not criticize? With my friend? My friends, right? Not criticize my friends. Fail. This what letter. Can, exactly. Mail these letters, right? Mail these letters. Not talk. So low. <laughs> so yeah. loud, right? Not talk so okay. loud. Uh, what does it mean so loud? Fuerte? Yeah. It's like, oh, come on, not talk okay. so loud. Put away. Your bedroom? Can you no. put away your bedroom? No, sorry. <laughs> that would be your kind of heavy. <laughs> your sunglasses. It can be your sunglasses, right? Put away your sunglasses. That can be good. And, uh, but we say, um, well, take off. Okay, in this case, I am going to make the change here. Put away, with put away, I am going to change it and I am going to say here, put away the DVDs and take off your glasses, right? Because take off, it's to remove, right? Turn down. Turn down. The oven. Turn down oven. the oven, right? Oven. Que el horno. And clean up your bedroom. bedroom. Your bedroom. bedroom, right? Clean up your bedroom. And I'm going to go here. My tripa chupa in the middle. <laughs> okay. Here you have, and we're going to create the sentences. What was sentence number two? Not no, criticize. criticize my friends. Not criticize my friends. My friends. That's very common with your parents. Number three. Mail these letters. This letter. Mail these letters. Good. The next one. Number four. No talk so loud. Not talk so loud. Talk so loud. The next so one. Loud. Put away. Put away. The DVD. Classes. The DVDs. 
Put away the DVDs. Oh, okay. oh, sorry, it doesn't have an apostrophe. Put away the DVDs. Uh, the next one, take off. Take off your sunglasses. Take off okay. your sunglasses. Okay. Number seven, turn down. Turn down the oven. The the oven. oven. Turn down the oven. Good, very good. And the last one, clean up your bedroom. Clean up, okay. Clean up your bedroom. Let's see. Okay, here we have all the examples. Um, If you need to create sentences with would you mind in these examples, how would you do it? I am going to make the first one. Would you mind, and remember the beginning of the sentence is capital, would you mind, what would be the first one? Pick up. Picking up. Picking, Picking. Oh, okay. up, up some, some milk. milk. And in this case, it doesn't mean that the milk is on the floor, right? Eso no significa que la leche esté en el suelo. When you say, would you mind picking up some milk? is that you stop by the supermarket, you go and get some milk, and then you take it to your house, right? Would you mind picking up some milk? What about the second one? How will you create the second sentence? Would you mind not criticizing? Criticizing my friends? My friends. friends. Would you mind not criticizing my friends? It's like, hey, they are my friends. Leave them alone, right? Don't criticize them. Relaxing. What about number three? Would you mind mailing these letters? Very good job, Julio. Would you mind mailing these letters? Very good job. Number four. Would you mind not talking so loud? Would you mind not talking so loud? Okay. That's very good. Number five. Would you put it, put it away? Yes, Could Heidi, I... go ahead. Okay. <laughs> Could you mind putting away the DVDs? Very good job. Number six. Will you mind taking off your song? Excellent. Number seven. Number seven. Would you mind turning down the oven? Would you mind turning down the oven? Right, turning. Very good. Number eight. Eight. Uh huh. What would be number eight? Would you mind cleaning up your bedroom? Excellent job. Would you mind cleaning up your bedroom? Fantastic job, my dear students. You deserve all the reactions of the world. Very nice job. You see, it was not very complicated. Now, the only thing that I need you to do is to organize your mind. Sino que de repente cuando nos desorganizamos aquí, arruinamos la oración. If you go in an order way, say, would you mind picking up some milk? Would you mind not criticizing my friends? Would you mind mailing these letters, right? It is going to be very useful at the moment of creating the sentence. Okay, very good job. And this is the example that you just created, right? The example of the ING form with this one. Okay, right before we finish, I have two more exercises. And in this one, we are going to choose the correct word. It says, throw those empty bottles away. Put them in the Recycling bin, living room, or refrigerator? Recycling bin. Recycling bin. The recycling bin, okay? In the living room. <laughs> Would you mind picking up some dry cleaning, groceries, or towels? We need coffee, milk, and rice. Grocery? Groceries? Groceries. 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 Very good. Turn the faucet, oven, stereo off. Water costs money. 
water uh, always? I think the oven. Do you get I water? Yes. Do you get get water from the oven? No. No. Uh, how would you, what does mean the first word? Aha, uh -huh, that's faucet. a very good thing. What is the meaning of faucet? Yes, Chorro. I don't know. Chorro. Oh. You see, that's One the importance moment, of questions, right? Faucet. The faucet. Choice. Sorry, sorry. Can you? There you go. Because on the oven, you don't get the water, right? It's like, no, right? And the stereo? No, right? No. The faucet is el chorro. Turn the faucet off. Water costs money. And the next one. My neighbor made a mistake, request, or promise. He said, I will be sure to stop my dog from barking. Is that a mistake, mistake, a request, or a promise? Promise. I think it's a promise. It's a promise. I will make sure. I will be sure to stop my dog from barking. It's like, yo me voy a asegurar. No, darling. It's like, when they say like, the water, wah, wah, the dog. <laughs> and the yeah, bread, yeah. the bread, wah, wah. The dog. No, and I, I want to say something. In uh -huh. my case, uh, since I work in a call center, uh, this is one of the biggest issues that I have. <laughs> yes. My neighbor have uh, dogs, and they are barking all, all the, day. the time. Oh my goodness! Yeah, sometimes, sometimes it's annoying. I imagine. Yeah, it is. It is annoying. Well, I I have one dog, and my dog is very big, but. When I am teaching the classes, she's sleeping next to me. I think she loves English because she's like, during the whole class, <laughs> she's <laughs> sleeping all the time. So that was a promise. I will make sure, I will be sure to stop my dog from barking. No, it never Barking, happens. what does it mean? Wow, 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 ah, wow, okay. wow, wow, My and dogs is the opposite. <laughs> Always barking, barking. barking. Yeah, it, it happens with the dogs. I mean, yes. it, it happens. And now with the COVID, uh, pandi uh, the pandemic, I mean, yeah, it's normal. Now it's normal. The last exercise before we finish the class. And in this one, we're going to make a match. Okay, we're going to match. Could you lend me $20? And here we have some options. We are sorry. We will talk more quietly. I'm sorry, I will do it right away. Sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Are you kidding? I don't have any cash. I'm really sorry, but I am busy. Sure, no problem. I will be glad to. D. Could I you know, lend sorry. me $20? D? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't have any cash. Are you kidding me? I don't have any cash. It's like, come on, you give me $20. Can you get me a sandwich? Get me a sandwich. Can you get me a sandwich? I'm, I'm very hungry. Okay. Sure, no problem. Yeah. No. It can be. It can be. Uh, how does it mean I will be glad? Ah, yeah, sería un gusto. Ah, es de uh -huh. if. Sure, no problem. I'll be glad to. Yes. I'll be glad to. Okay, I'll be glad to. Can you help me move to my new house? Help me move. I'm really sorry, but I am busy. I am really sorry, but I am busy. Can you help me move to my new house? Help me move. It means like, me ayuda a mudarme. Would you mind not sitting here? ¿Le importaría no sentarse aquí? Would you mind not sitting here? Sí, sorry, I didn't realize this seat was taken. Sorry, exactly. I didn't realize this seat was taken. Could you move your car from my space? I'm sorry, I do it right away. Ah, okay, lo hago ahorita, ahorita lo muevo. Would you mind not talking so loudly? We are sorry. We are talking more quickly. Okay, we're sorry. We will talk more quietly. 
Quiet. Okay, so can you repeat? Can can you repeat? Quietly. Quiet. Quietly. 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 Okay. 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 Students, uh, could you lend me twenty dollars? In bitcoins. In bitcoins. <laughs> Sorry. Are you kidding? <laughs> Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Are you I don't, don't have, have any, any, cash. any cash. Are you kidding me? I am poor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can you get me a sandwich then? Sure. No problem. Sure. Sure. No problem. No problem. I'd be glad to. I'd be, I'd be glad, glad to. Me. Can you help me move to my new house? I am really, really sorry, sorry, but I, I am busy. <sighs> okay, would you mind not sitting here? Sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't really realize, realize this, this, this was, was taken. taken. Uh, could you move your car from my space? I am I'm sorry. sorry, I am sorry. Uh, really right, right away. Right away. away. Would you mind not talking so loudly? We're sorry. Sorry. We'll, sorry. we'll talk, talk more. Wait quietly. more quietly. 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 Okay. Would you mind connecting tomorrow at the same time for another class? Okay, I will try. <laughs> okay, I will try. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> I am going to see you tomorrow, my dear students, for another class. Have a Good beautiful night, night and see rest a lot. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a beautiful night. Bye bye.